1982, the composition of pennies transitioned from primarily copper to primarily zinc. Before 1982, pennies consisted of 95% copper and 5% zinc. However, that year, the U.S. Mint shifted to a zinc core with a thin copper plating. A 1982 zinc cent in circulated condition, such as this one, would typically fetch less than 5 cents. However, an exceptional specimen, recently sold for $15,973.88, including the buyer's fee, at the Great Collections auction. This impressive price was justified by the exceptional quality of the coin. Featuring immaculate preservation and sharp strike definition, this red uncirculated specimen garnered significant attention. PCGS graded this penny as MS69 red, just one point below the highest grade in Sheldon's coin grading scale, MS70, representing near numismatic perfection. The surfaces of this coin glow with a coppery rose luster. Therefore, it is recommended to store such uncirculated gems in airtight holders to preserve their condition. Undoubtedly, this penny presents a compelling investment opportunity for the future. Here is the 1939 Jefferson Nickel, which fetched an impressive $20,562.50 at Heritage Auctions. This coin is far from ordinary pocket change, boasting a rare combination of attributes, superb gem grade, full steps definition, and a double die reverse. Graded as MS67 by PCGS, it also holds the coveted full steps designation, showcasing the fully struck and delineated steps of Monticello. On the reverse, strong doubling is evident, particularly noticeable on the lettering in Monticello and Five Cents, along with significant doubling on the right side of the building. Um, Highly sought after across all grades and conditions, the FS801 variety is especially elusive in high grade, consistently commanding high premiums. Introducing another modern rarity, the 1983 Lincoln Cent. If you happen to possess a 1983 penny, it is highly advisable to closely examine the reverse side of the coin. This particular coin showcases an impressive guidebook variety, featuring wide doubling on the reverse legends and horizontal lines of the memorial. Additionally, dye polish lines on each side of the portrait indicate that mint personnel focused on the appearance of the wrong dye. The brick red surfaces of this coin are free from any contact marks, carbon, or other blemishes. After receiving a grade of mint state 68 red from PCGS, this coin fetched a significant $11,306.25 inclusive of the buyer's fee. This is a 1967 Kennedy half dollar, also known as an SMS half. This designation signifies that this half dollar originates from a special mint set. In 1964, when silver coinage ceased, the government also halted the issuance of proof and mint sets, along with ceasing to include mint marks on coins. From 1965 onwards, special five coin sets were introduced under the new name of special mint set. These sets were circulated until 1967, when regular proof sets resumed production in 1968, now originating from the San Francisco Mint. While the coins in the special mint sets boasted substantially higher quality than regular circulation strike coins, they did not match the quality of proof coins. As a result, examples from these sets are seldom seen in top grade conditions. You may notice something peculiar about the 1972 D. Eisenhower dollar. The shape seems off, and the legends appear incomplete, you might say. Well, it's indeed an error dollar coin struck 10% off-center. Such coins are the result of incorrect striking by the minting machinery, causing the design to be displaced from its intended position on the coin's surface. As a result, approximately 10% of the design is missing due to the off-center strike. These off-center strikes are considered mint errors because they deviate from the standard production process, resulting in coins with unique and sometimes collectible characteristics. This uncirculated Denver specimen was graded as MS64 by NGC and sold for $222 on April 3rd, 2024. Here we have another intriguing error coin, a Washington quarter with coppery red surfaces. This unusual appearance is due to the fact that this undated quarter was mistakenly struck on a Lincoln cent, either by error or intentionally. An undated 25C Washington quarter overstruck on a Lincoln cent is a captivating and highly uncommon error coin. It arises when a blank planche intended for one denomination, in this case a Lincoln cent, is accidentally fed into the coin press 
and struck with dies intended for another denomination, the Washington Quarter. This results in a coin with the design of a quarter stamped over the original Lincoln cent design. These error coins are exceedingly rare and greatly sought after by collectors due to their distinctiveness and the infrequency of such incidents. This particular specimen was graded as MS-66 red and brown and fetched a price of $2,160 at Heritage Auctions. Thank you for joining us on this numismatic journey. If you found this video intriguing, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating content like this. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, and remember to turn on notifications so you never miss an update. Your support helps us continue bringing you high-quality numismatic insights. Subscribe, like, and stay tuned for more captivating discoveries in the world of coins and currency.